Hey, what's up guys? Sean here. I hope everyone's been having a good week. I hope you've all been staying safe. Today is Thursday, which is my favorite day of the week because we're doing abs today. If you find the video useful or if you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. All right, let's get started. So the good thing about this workout is it's completely weight free. So it means that you don't need any weights to do this exercise or the whole workout. The only thing you need is yourself, obviously, and uh, a floor mat and, or an exercise mat if you have one. If not, um, I mean, I usually do this on the floor anyways, but um, or you can even put a couple of towels down or do it on a carpet or whatever you find uh, works for you. I've been doing this ab workout for as long as I can remember. Let's get straight into it. So the first exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to lie down in this position. We want our feet um, sort of maybe about one foot away from our bums. Um, and we're going to be holding a crunch position like this and rotating and pivoting to touch our heels. So the idea is to pivot our bodies and our torsos to get our abs working instead of just moving our arms and we want to we don't want to be down here we want to be up here so we just rotate pivot and touch our heel so 60 reps one straight into our next exercise which is a standard crunch so what you want to do is you can either put your hands arms across your chest like this or you can cup your ears I prefer to do this um, and basically you want to the starting position is here so with your head already off the ground and you want to come up to about halfway between the ground and your knees That's it. just keep the keep the upper abs loaded three four Trying to use momentum when you go up, try to just use your core. And 30. So it's all about control. Alright, next exercise, you're going to want to put your legs straight up in the air. Try to keep your knees uh, locked if you can. Try not to bend your legs. Um, if you have to bend them slightly, it's, it's fine. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to start off sort of position and then you're going to be using your abs to come up and try to touch your heels, okay? So make sure you don't go all the way down, your head is off the ground and just reach up. Seven. Alright, straight into our next exercise. Um, some people call this the Russian twist. Some people call this cherry picker. Either way, um, if you need to put your feet on the ground, you can. I like to keep them off so you activate the lower abs. And what you want to do is you want to rotate 
from side to side like this. So just from a front view, you're gonna wanna rotate your whole body when you're picking those cherries, okay? So some people just do this, keep still and then move their arms. It's a bit pointless. <laughs> you wanna rotate your whole body so you're activating your obliques as well as your abs, okay? So, I'm gonna do 60 reps of this. Now we're gonna take a 30 second rest. All right, next up, bicycle crunches. So the trick to doing these is when you extend your foot, you wanna extend it all the way into your knees a lot, right? So cup your fingers behind your ears, you take your right elbow to the left knee, and then you're gonna swap over left elbow to right knee, and then you're gonna extend the leg at the end fully, just like this, okay? So our next exercise, these are called V-sits. Um, I call them V-sits anyways. There's like several names for each exercise anyway. So. But the one where you start in position is here. You wanna go down, extend all the way, keep your feet off the ground, lock your legs. Lower back should just be touching the ground, but nothing else. So the upper back should still be off the ground. So when you come up, you wanna just touch your heels with your fingers and then go back down. So. We're gonna do 30 reps. No. Yes, 30 reps. Alright, let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. a bit too difficult you can always put your hands on the ground and then just do them this way and uh, build yourself up to it okay all right up next flutter kicks so we're going to move on to our lower abs now i'm going to put my head here so it's not in the ring so for our flutter kicks what you want to do is there's two ways to do them you can either keep your hands by your side which is harder or you can put your hands underneath your bum for support and it just makes it a little bit easier to control so what we're going to do is extend outwards so make sure your head is about one inch off the ground don't put it on the ground and don't have it up here either you're not going to want to put it here because it just tightens everything all the way down here of course so just activates it a little bit more what you want to do is you're going to point your toes and then you're just going to do flutter kicks like this not up here like sort of just in between here and here, so it's gonna go around there, okay? So we're gonna do 60 reps. Right.
Okay, 60. Alright, now we're gonna take a 30 second rest. All right guys, so I just got myself a towel for this exercise so I don't get sweat all over the uh, exercise mat. So, I've also lowered the camera a little bit to try and get a better angle on this exercise. It's very, very important, the technique here. So, you don't want to put your hands under your bum. And these are leg raises with a slight extension right at the top. So what you're going to do with your head in the same position about an inch off the ground. You're gonna to wanna to point your toes and then go up like this. And once you get to the top, you're gonna to want to do, you know, use your abs to do that extra elevation at the end. So once you get to here, then you're gonna use your abs to bring up. So what you don't wanna do is use momentum to try and like, you know, or like kick yourself up like this because then you're not using your core properly. So we're gonna do 15 reps of this because they're quite difficult if you do them properly. So, let's go. And that's 15. Oh. Okay. Now we're gonna do cutter kicks but in a scissors direction. So we're gonna be going one on top of the other like this. Alright, so for these scissor cutter kicks, you're gonna wanna put your hands under your bum again. Head one inch off the ground, just like usual. Point your toes and move your legs in a scissor. and 60. Woo. All right, 30 seconds rest. All right guys, so this next exercise is my personal favorite. It's uh, really, really good for our, for our obliques, which are just here next to our abs. It's all core. So we're gonna do left side first and then we're gonna flip over to our right side. So again, what you wanna do is you wanna balance your body weight on your left glute here. Keep your knees straight as much as possible without bending them. You're not gonna wanna support your weight like this on your elbow, you're gonna wanna put your left arm down here and you're gonna take your right arm and cup your ears over here basically what you want to do is you want to use your core to come up like this and then try and make connection between our elbow and our knees so if you can't uh, try not to do this and bend your knees to make that connection because it's not going to work your abs just try to keep your knees straight but don't worry about making that connection okay so 
if they're too difficult, you can always do them like this. It might be a bit easier to support your, your weight over here. If you've never done these before, they're really quite difficult, so don't worry if you can't do them straight away. So we're gonna do 20 reps on each side. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and 20. Swap sides now. So on the other side, basically it's just the opposite. As before, you're gonna wanna keep your body weight on your right glute this time with your right hand on the ground without supporting your body weight on your elbow as much as possible. And you're gonna wanna cup your ear with your left arm and then your left elbow is gonna try and touch your left knee okay once again don't worry if you can't make the contact um, it's best to keep your knees straight okay let's keep your legs straight and don't bend your knees all right 20 reps one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Oh, okay. Straight into our next exercise. So now we're gonna do a combination exercise. We're gonna do three sets of this. So one minute plank, and then 10, uh, elevated leg raises but using the bench so I mean you can do this on the floor I just like to use the bench just to change it up a little bit okay so when we do our plank form is very very important so support our weight on our elbows and that toes so now with the form with the plank try not to let your butt drop down like this, try to keep it high. And not too high either like that. So you're gonna wanna sort of keep it somewhere in between and until you can feel your core muscles working. If you're not used to planking, you might find that your arms are starting to hurt because you're not used to it. So just, you know, start with maybe 10 seconds first or 15 seconds and work your, work your way up um, to doing longer times, okay? So we're gonna do a minute if you can and then Stop over to the bench. When we used to do this in the army, we used to sing songs all together while we were planking. I'm not going to do that now. People will think I'm crazy. Seven seconds left. Three, two, one. Okay, so once a minute's done. Okay, so what you want to do here is it's similar to the kind of exercise that we did before. This time, change it up so you know if you want, you can grab. You can grab the back of the bench, or you can even do it on the floor and like grab onto a pillar like this or something. Whatever you fancy. Then extend our legs, point our toes, go up, and then extend. One time. Try and hold it there for a bit, and then back down.
Okay. Back down. Minute plank, no rest. The rain might just hold off actually. Ten seconds left. And back to the bench. Thirty seconds. Three, two, one. And down. Uh, all right. Last one. So once again, when we do these raises, try not to use momentum to get your bum up. Try to go to the top first and then push. You want to use as much of your core as possible. All right. Right, guys that's the end of my Thursday home workout um, a really useful point uh, when you're training abs is try to focus on using the core as much as possible and doing the reps properly rather than how many reps you can do so for example doing one or two really good reps is better than doing 10 reps um, improperly for example so the workout is essentially as hard as you want to make it um, and how hard you want to really uh, control and use that 
use that core. Don't worry if you can't you know, do all the reps straight away or you need more rest in between sets, that's fine. Don't worry if you miss anything, I'm gonna put a full breakdown of the workout in the YouTube video description as always. Um, yeah, that's it, hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay safe. Thank you.